This presentation is going to be about Ohm's law and more specifically about the use of the Ohm's law triangle, which is what I've got over here. Now in the classroom, when I've referred to the Ohm's law triangle, I've encouraged you to use the initials V for volts, A for amps, R for resistance, which is measured in ohms. So the initials are V, A, R, just because that's fairly easy to remember. Now the problem is, in a lot of textbooks and um, in research, etc., etc., scientists tend not to use the initial A for amps. Instead, they will use um, the initial I. So I'm going to change that to I. Now that comes about uh, because conventionally, uh, the guy, uh, I, I'll just bring up an image of him, hang on. This guy here is uh, Andre Marie Ampere. So, best part of 200 years ago, in fact, over 200 years ago, uh, he studied and did some research into the flow of electricity. And the, he was French, and the term that he used was the intensity to current, courant, and which roughly translates as current intensity. In other words, how much current was flowing. So he used the letter I for intensity. So I've used Google Translate just so that you can hear how that should sound in French. Intensité du courant. Now, as time went on, um, other people, you know, when they were doing experiments, they just referred to that measurement that Mr. Ampere came up with, the Ampere. And, and so now we tend to refer to when we're talking about it in general terms, we would use the term amps, but when we write it down, or the scientists, when they write it down in textbooks, they still use the letter I. Okay, so it's important, you can use either really. Um, as long as you understand how it works, that's absolutely fine, but it's, it's just worthy of note that sometimes when you look in books, etc., and you'll see this, uh, it's obviously a bit different to what I've been using in the classroom. And okay, so I set you some work, um, the other day, and problem number one, the reason I'm mentioning this now is that the, the problems in the book use the letter I. Okay, so uh, when you come at, uh, to work out this one, it's a, a very simple one. Basically, we know the voltage, we know the resistance, and we've got to find the intensity of the current flow or the current flow, all right, measured in amps. Okay, so we've now got our triangle. Uh, VIR, or volts, amps, resistance. So let's bring down another triangle. And what we're going to do is slot in the information that we have. Okay, so we know the voltage. So let's put the volts in over here. Okay, and we also know the resistance. So I'm going to bring in the resistance there. So to work out the current flow, uh, or the intensity of the current flow, it's going to be 14 divided by 2. So I'm going to do that on a calculator and show you. Okay, so I'm going to punch in 14 divided by 2 equals 7. So we now know that the current flow in this circuit that has 14 volts going through a 2 ohm resistance we now know that the current flow would be 7 amps.